Hello everyone, welcome back to Operation Hammer Giant. We're heading in. We need to uh, basically kill a... Um... Oh, that's an interesting map. We need to kill a Advent um, Special Soldier, whatever it's called. Officer, that's what I'm looking for. Field Commander. Okay, we got there in the end. Right, so... Where are we at the bottom? Okay, we're in... We're in the bottom corner, okay. So again, we're going to use the Reaper to head out there and just look around the map for us. Just try to identify any... There we go. There's a sectoid. Have we got the... Oh, we haven't, have we? Stronger. Okay, so the sniper has something called Squad Sight, which means he's able to shoot anything that any member of the squad can see. Which is a really big perk, which means he doesn't need to move as often, hopefully. Okay, so there's two people there. Okay. There's a sectoid and a advent soldier. Okay, so you could. 73% chance of hitting that. Go on and hit that. Okay, let's bring you up over to here. To Give you some eyes. You can now see both of those, which is good. So we could do a Overwatch trap with you and you. And then get you to take the shot. 73% chance of hitting this guy. Go on, go for it then. 73% chance. You've got to get it. Come on, mate. Nice! Okay, he's dead. Which is now going to trigger the sectoid. Okay, and now the Overwatch is hoping to do some damage. Missed. Okay, that's not great. Second Overwatch. Missed. Okay, again, not great. Okay, not worth you getting spotted yet. Uh, let's move you out to here to get more eyes on the area behind. Okay. Okay, so that's where the... Um, that's where the guy's going to leave the map. So he's going to go for a mind control, and he's got the mind control. Okay. means we can't use this person now. You can't move, can you? Okay. So this is... Oh, God, this is not great, is it? Um... Maybe the best you can do is throw a grenade, probably. Blow up his cover and do damage to him. Allowing the others to do more damage. Like that. So I do four damage and blow up his. Oh, so I do three damage and blow up his cover. Okay. You've now got a 50% chance of a hit. If you go over here. Should be better. Um, fifty-two percent chance of a hit. Oh, we need this though. What about you? If I move, so you've it's got five damage. It's too much, isn't it? I mean, we could do claymore. Can't do a claymore. I'm on the move. Okay. You've got to go for it. 52% chance. You've got to go for it. Can't please hit. Okay, it hit. Okay. That's fine. Means we are going to have to bring the Reaper out, though. 65% chance for the Reaper to finish it off. Come on, Reaper. Please hit. Please hit. Please hit. Yes! Okay. That was important because we needed... Okay, the Re yeah, the Reaper's not even revealed either. We needed to get the mind control stopped, and that was the only way to do it, really. 
Okay, let's move you forward. Okay. So that's one group down. So you. So we know that the uh, this is where the removal point is. So move up, see if you can see any more pods. Okay, that's the guy, isn't it? That's the guy. You know what, Reba? If can you blow this tank up? Before they can escape, we won't get another shot at this. Let's do there as well. If you blow that up, it's going to do six damage. That could kill him, that could. Okay. Um, so you need to be up high, don't you, really? Maybe up here? Oh, that's cover then, is it? Okay. No problem, boss. I'm going to stay concealed for now. But there is a big opportunity there to blow that thing up. We got we haven't got a rush. We've got ten turns before he escapes. Okay, he's no, he's no longer near that tank, which is annoying, isn't it? Um... Steady weapon. Actually, I need you to come down here and grab the loot, I think. I don't want to lose the loot. It's only got one turn before it uh, disappears, so grab the loot. An Illyrium core, that might come in useful. Why am I on cargo duty? That's a good point, though, really. Let's put you there. Um... Let's move you two to here and here then. And then let's put you up on the roof. Again, just get some better view. Okay, this is a group again. They spotted us, okay. Okay. There's another sectoid. Okay, so we've got five more enemies. So I don't think these have spotted us. It's just the other group that spotted us. 50% chance, 49. Oh, okay. 51% chance of taking that guy out. You... So I'm not going to get a flanked shot anyway, am I? Let's bring you to here. Still 51% chance. Or we could grenade. So we can grenade. Okay, let's leave that for a second. Um, you. 30% chance of killing you. Hmm... What can you do? 98% chance of you. Um, so this is tricky because it's this guy around this corner that's going to be the problem. So I think I need to move my sniper. We'll go with the 51%. Nice, okay. Did you see that one? We'll keep you as you are. And then I think we'll overwatch you. So you're now... Okay, you've now moved. Okay, that's what I wanted. I didn't want to get flanked. That was my only worry. Okay. Okay, we split them up now, which is good. So you got thirty one percent chance of hitting him. Twenty nine. Okay, so you How far can you throw a grenade? Oh. Actually pretty far, so 
If you were to get... Um... Problem is, if you go here, you're safe from him. Oh, I've cl bloody pressed it. I didn't mean to press it. Okay. Okay, well, let's grenade. Which is going to do damage and hopefully blow up some of his cover. Allow it to be easy for everyone else to hit. Okay. So now, for example, you have a 51% chance to hit. Okay. That's how we go for 51% chance to hit. Gotcha. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Let's bring you over to here, get better eyes. Okay. Let's bring you over there. Okay, and then overwatch you. Okay. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. So we know we've got two more enemies over here. And then we've also got the Advent Commander who's just around this back of this corner. But it's seven turns before he's going to be able to escape anyway. So let's bring you forward. See if you can spot them. You can't. Okay. Let's bring you forward then. Again, I don't think we rush here then. Maybe you can come up on top of there. You get a uh, an aim boost for being up high, by the way, which is why I put him up on the top of the train. Okay. So still no idea where these are. Where the hell are they then? We can see this whole area. Are they down? Are they in here? Seems doable. I will go. Let's stand over here so we get some eyes on them. Ah, they're around the back where they were them. Okay. That's fine then. We know we can go now, then, don't we? Okay, conceal. You can't get up there, can you? You can get to here. Okay, that's probably the best place to be. Okay. So all three of them are together now, we know that. They go around that. Oh, bugger, on the roof. Why are you on the roof? Why are you on the roof? Well, just while I uh, overwatched, I suppose, isn't it? He's legged it now. Okay. So a movement to there gives us the flank and the kill. Boom. Okay. You. 90% chance. Shot from above. Ah, we only got three damage at the four. Gutted. I thought we'd get the four. Okay. You should be able to finish off, though. 53% chance? Okay. You can't see or do anything, can you? Okay. Um... I don't really want to blow him up because um, he drops loot. Let's just take the risk. Yeah. Nothing you can do, is there? Let's overwatch you. 
egg. Oh, I thought it was going to get the Overwatch luck there. He's going to go for the mind control on the sniper. He resisted it. Now he's panicked, which means he'll do whatever he wants to do. He might actually get the kill. No, he's hunkering down. Okay. So you just step out to here and shoot for the kill. There we go. Which means now all that should be on the map is the... Um, but apparently it's here. Is that correct? A delicate placement. I can throw a claymore over the edge. I can't shoot the claymore then. Because I ain't got any ammo. Okay, you can see the claymore. Get the shot. Is he not there? It says he's there. Am I going blind? Yeah, there he oh, did take some damage from that. Okay. I was going to say. I feel like Sniper should get this, shouldn't he? I mean, we could just go... Yeah, we could just blow him up, I suppose, but... Um... I'm going to stand you in the fire for no apparent reason. And then get a 100% kill. Done. Mission finished. Flawless. Menace one five kill confirmed. That's how it's done. We have confirmation. Boom. Flawless mission. Not a single piece of damage taken. That's what it's all about. That's what XCOM do, baby. Yep. They are the angels of death. So now we should be able to do... We can't do promotions from Rookie up to somewhere else, but we can do all the other promotions here now for some reason. So death from above means that you um, you get extra boosts. I don't like this. This mod for some reason has him standing in front of it, which is a bit annoying. Uh, we're going to go with death from above because that's a good bonus. Um, and then we're going to have... You, I want with you. I love remote start, but I've got to pay 10 for it anyway. Okay. I'm going to have a blood trail. means that um, if someone's already taken damage this turn, we do extra damage to them. So two troop. Okay, we got a bit of everything. Nice. Oh, I probably should have read that. Um, so basically what they're saying is there is a, a black site on the map, which is a secret alien facility where they're doing some shady shit. And we need to go and make contact with the area that the black site is in, and then we need to go and investigate the black site. Apologies, I forgot that I was recording there for a second. So now we have an engineer, we can start to excavate this room. Clear it out, and we can build some stuff in it. Okay. We also have a promotion for Jeff. He's going to be a grenadier. Nice, okay. Right. So we've got a couple of corporals now. Are you getting better with Maya? You're not, actually, no. But So basically, when that bar... Why am I pointing? You can't see my finger. When that bar with Jeff Myers on the left-hand side reaches the max, they will be able to... Um, be able to bond. Not under my watch anyway. the aliens took we do have some cool people here as well. I don't know what these do though. Some of them are... I mean, the fact you're a hundred supplies makes you think you're pretty good. 
we buy one? 100 supplies? It's a lot though for this part of the game. But it could be amazing. I like all these sort of things to be honest, but you're Aquarian. You're a Solarian. You're a Geth. And you're a Twi'lek. They all do have boosts. They have like aim or um, boosts like that. So it'd be interesting to see what they are good at. I'm not going to go too mad yet because there are ways we can get some for free as time goes on as well. Because this is the black site I was just talking about. There's an engineer over here. We've got to go get an engineer. So just see, we've got one engineer and zero scientist at the moment. We'll get another mission soon. It'll probably give us a scientist. It'll be the lost. They're annoying missions, but... All right, here we go. Alien biotech. So this is the storyline chip that was found in our heads. Ah, Commander. Excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary... Well, oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, I lost... Uh... Ah, I clicked the wrong bloody button! Ah, oh, I do apologise. So basically, they found this chip in our head. Uh, it's the same chip that you find in all the advents heads and they're running battle simulations for it therefore we were actually running the advent army from our coma induced position inside the gene therapy lab where they found us they were running all these scenarios for our brain and we were basically creating an ai to implant into the advent officers brains to allow them to be better on the battlefield since we've been removed from the system there are some issues within their system, which means their battle simulations are not as good, and therefore they're not as good on the battlefield. We want to see exactly how their system works, but at the moment we can't see that on the chip that's been taken out of our own brain. So we're going to try and do an autopsy in one of the Advent Officer corpses we've got, and that will allow us to access their chip and see what they are up to. So that hopefully makes sense. I apologise, I didn't mean to skip it. Look how this guy is. Look. Look how he is with doing autopsies. Look at the blood everywhere. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate advent forces. Oh, nice. There we go. Uh, let's head back out to the world now, then, I suppose. We're just waiting for stuff to be built at the moment, aren't we? I want to get the um, resistance ring done as soon as possible. I like the resistance ring. And there it is. So basically, it's a bit like uh, in the Assassin's Creed games where you can send off your... You can send your people off to do missions like that, if that makes sense. Um, so basically, we can pick what we want to do here and we can send our soldiers off to go and do it. So... To complete these covert actions. So we can do a Templar. Right, so we're going to pick somebody. Let's get you sorted then. So you with Anna Malakova. Anna Malakova, there we go. So basically these two are a, a, a good opportunity for a bond. So we're going to send them together. They're both going to get a promotion from this. They're both hopefully going to bond from this as well. And by completing the missions, we'll identify where the Templars are and we'll get ourselves our own Templar soldier, who is like a melee soldier, who is actually pretty useful because it's a guaranteed hit in a lot of situations. Right, so let's get that underway. Right, that's another alien debris cleared. So I want to get, first of all, the Guerrilla Tactics Room. Which allows us to get some cool stuff. Um, yeah, we'll do that for now. So part of the Grid Attackers room allows us to increase squad size for um, for fights and that. There we go, another engineer. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, let's get you starting to excavate this, please. 20 days for that bad boy, though. 
basically we're working towards the uh, destroyed power coil because that's where we're going to get some um, some good stuff. Right, let's head back over. We should probably get a mission any second, to be honest. We're not going to get much more done here. Oh, right, here we go. Ah, oh, here we go. I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the advent captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the Advent data showed signs of decay. Removing the commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes. What we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information. A great deal of information. Somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. Even in the subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. That would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call. It's actually not bad, to be honest. It, it seems like a really I a difficult mission to do, but it's actually not too bad. New objectives added. So now we get the ability to build the Proving Ground, and then we need to create something called a Skulljack, which is basically, it's a bit like the Assassin's Creed, like, wrist blade. But you jab it straight into the soldier and you take his chip out. Um, it's pretty brutal, to be honest with you. Ooh, improved vector rifles. Okay. So every now and again, you've got the chance of getting these random improvements. Um, by completing this research now, we will get a plus one damage to the Reaper's Rector Rifle all the way through the game, no matter what level it is, because there's se several improvements we'll do. So this is actually a massive boost. Alright, let's continue. And like I said, we're probably going to hit a mission pretty damn soon now. It's probably going to involve getting a scientist, I would imagine. And here it is, okay. View mission, there we go. A scientist, and then a couple of soldiers as well, and some intel. The lost are here as well. And Advent have drawn their forces away, making it more likely or less likely we'll be spotted by them. Setting course for Sector 13, South Africa. South Africa. Alright, let's head to South Africa. Commander, you should be aware. We're detecting lost activity right, in this let's area. clear this out. Will need to be we don't really need the Reaper for this one, to be honest, but it's probably best to take him just in case. So this one looks really cool. Uh, so we are going to start to color code people. So we're going to take the... We might as... Oh, we don't... Sharpshoot is pointless in this one. Okay. So we are... We'll take the Reaper and we'll take... Um, your friend Jeff. Is Jeff? Okay, we'll take you two. Then can I find someone who's a genius? You're a genius. Jeremy Cunningham. Not very much liked though, are you? Any more geniuses? Or genii? Gifted. Uh, gifted. Genius. And weapon mastery. What's a weapon mastery? 
I don't know, Tara Murray though. Let's find Tara Murray, that's you. You're above average, okay. I'm interested what you are though, let's uh, look at you. So you've got something called Weapon Mastery. What does it even mean? Was it was you a weapon mastery, wasn't it? Commander, each of our soldiers has a unique relationship. I'm sure it was. As they complete combat missions together, they're compatible. Am I wrong? And can eventually develop into a lasting What's your name? Ericsson. Where's Ericsson? Yeah, look. Traits weapon mastery. What does it even mean? Where can I see the traits? Um, I don't know then. Who knows? Either way, so completing this one, we'll get ourselves a scientist, 86 intel, we'll get ourselves a shinobi, and a grenadier, both already soldiers we have. We have the lost in the next mission, which is basically zombies, which are pretty easy to take down, and uh, potentially some advent, but very unlikely they will be there. Right, so the reason I'll explain in the next episode why we've gone for these people instead of the sniper. And it's basically down to the type of weapons, to be honest. And that'll make more sense next time round as we take on Operation Bonebreaker.